it's a problem in the last few years with the construction of a false narrative and censorship and uh, a propaganda campaign on behalf of the corporate fascist sector in world government that was driving an outcome and a reordering of our social fabric, the condition of transparency and trust in public office and integrity of public office was sacrificed to propel forward the interests of corporate sector and government sector and the institution over the individual in the West. It was intended to be that way. It was no accident what happened in the last few years. And the consequence of that is that people have become mistrustful of the official version of truth that's coming from trusted what used to be trusted institutions in government and business and so we have a situation where people are looking for explanations and understanding and going to minor small voices in the crowd who are feeding very diverse versions of reality that are quite narrow and because of the censorship that came into social media those communities were shut down into very small echo chambers of opinion. The environment of political hostility causes these small splinter groups to form and extremist elements to be established where they don't have any longer a clear picture of the full facts or a, a clear understanding of of what's going on from a, a systems level perspective and instead they're they're feeding on a bottom level looking up trying to find you know explanations and reasoning for what's happening in the world around them which is understandable and it's um it's a problem though it's a fear inducing situation that is isolating people from community and isolating people from exposure to reality and they're very vulnerable in this place because they are preyed upon by people who have an interest and agenda to extract money and power and, and control them in a vulnerable position. It's a window of vulnerability that many have fallen into. So it's best advice to stay out of those communities and stay connected, grounded in reality, truth. Keep yourself in contact with the, the facts of nature. The world hasn't changed from 2018, 19, 20. The birds are still singing and the trees are still growing as they were, as God planned when he made the earth. And as we get further and further immersed into this trauma-based mind control, the, the wave after wave after wave of conditioning is going to cause people to become not only disturbed and distressed and filled with fear, but will tilt them toward mental illness, extreme mental illnesses, where their behavior will become irrational in a way to you know, make sense or to act out the pain and the confusion that they're feeling. This system of spiritual power, satanic trinity control, is like a twisting serpent wrapping itself around you and it's very hard to grab hold of its tail. That's the nature of the satanic domain and his dominion. The nature of God and Christ is peace, peace and perfect love. And so if you, if you rest in his peace and you walk by the spirit of God which leads us into all truth, you'll find you'll be able to rest in him and to be released from the feelings of anxiety and mental health disorder that are being uh, expanded, propagated and uh, caused to grow in this season, um, to cause you to go absolutely insane. So stay in the truth, stay in the word. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth and the life. If anyone wants to go to the Father, he has to come by me. And he is the gate to the spiritual world where you have access directly to God, the creator of the universe, in Christ. So I would encourage you, seek him first and seek his kingdom first and turn your back on anything that is not of God in this season that we're in. Walk away from it. If it's not of God, if it has a manipulative or controlling narrative, if it's uh, isolating you from truth and light, then I would say to you, walk away and look for the hope and the light and the life. Jesus said, I come to give you life in abundance, not to destroy or to kill. So uh, seek him out. He's a good God and he's knowable. You can read about him in the scriptures, the faithful representation of who he has been throughout history in the kingdoms of men. And uh, he is able to be known. He's not mysterious, even though he was all powerful and beyond our realm. He is a God that has reached his hand down into the human experience to be known by us and I would encourage you not to be afraid of God, fear the world, fear man and the agendas and schemes that are being propelled throughout 
the world at the moment, but do not fear God. Come to him. He's offered you a hand of salvation and he's asking you to accept it. He's offered you out of hand a way to come home and he's calling you back. He comes after the one lost sheep, all the prodigals, the people who've turned their back or questioned God. He's calling you home now. Now is the time to say yes and to seek his heart. Okay? Amen. That's the way to go. Come home without fear. The, the father stands waiting. In the story of the prodigal, the father is waiting for the son to return and he is eager to embrace his son and clothe him in a royal robe. That's what happens in the story of the prodigal. If you go read that in scripture, it's a great story of the love of God for those who return.